What are the uh, most critical, most important things, most alarming things about cryptography that every one of us should know? The people who sell you cryptography, like the people who sell you everything else, promote the uh, benefits, the services, the good that comes with their product. And therefore, what you read from cryptographers or from banks or for all the, from all the people that uh, use cryptography to safeguard your data, you hear good things. You hear uh, the aspects of cryptography that gives you a peace of mind. Your privacy is protected. Uh, your uh, bank account is secure. Nobody can uh, uh, reveal your secrets. Everything is hunky-dory. But the reality is that none of the ciphers that we use today in modern cryptography, none, is such that we know for sure that it works. Now, ciphers, these are the mathematical combinations that give you the security. Being so mathematical, one would assume uh, they come with proofs. We know that Euclid told us everything that you say in math comes with a proof that uh, gives you the assurance that that's how it is. It was and will be forever, ever more. So it's quite strange, isn't it, that a cryptographic device a mathematical device has no proof that it works. In fact, we don't know that any of the devices that we employ to safeguard your data, our data, is any good. That's surprising. Now, what is more surprising, that the foundation for any claims that a cryptographer will make, that this cipher that I recommend is good, is based on what, in common speak, would be regarded as arrogance. Arrogance. How come? Well... When a cryptographer is telling you AES or RSA or ECC or whatever is a robust, secure, reliable cipher, what he is saying is that those are ciphers that he himself and the community of cryptographers in the open tried, tried to break and couldn't. And now what is left unsaid is the assumption that since we, the cryptographers, we are the smartest dudes around. If we couldn't crack it, who will? Now, I don't fault cryptographers for doing this or for making those recommendations. I am in the field of cryptography myself and I am uh, recommending uh, uh, ciphers that I developed in the same fashion. But what's important is to be clear about it, is to be fully exposed in terms of the truth of the matter. We have no proof that anything works except the fact that it was hard enough for us, and it is hard enough for us to crack. So we assume 
that our adversary will also fail. Now, this is an important and again unspoken and advertised principle in security, in cybersecurity in general. Whatever you do in cybersecurity, it's only good. It's only good against hackers, assailers, attackers that are dumber than the uh, people who provide you the security. If they are smarter, all bets are off. Because what does it mean that a hacker is smarter than a defender? It means that he could imagine a form of attack and an attack avenue that the defender did not have the imagination to conceive and then did not defend against. So this works for cybersecurity in general, and in cryptography in particular. But we must know it. And what it means is that we must always be aware that whatever cipher that we use among the common uh, choices, we'll talk about other choices later on, but among the common commercial choices that can be categorized as short key cryptography, all these ciphers come with a question mark. All these ciphers might have a mathematical shortcut that will crack them as easy as reading an unencrypted message. What is more is that we are constantly under attack. We have powerful enemies that are dev devoting an enormous measure of resources to crack our ciphers. And we make it easy for them. Another fact is not advertised. We make it easy for them. Why? Because 95 or 90 or more than 95 percent of all the people who give us cryptographic services use the one, two, or three, the very few recommended for use ciphers. This means that for our adversaries, they have just two or three uh, stationary targets, sitting ducks. Once they crack them, we are in big trouble. And another fact that you should know that in all likelihood, if some, someone, an adversary, has cracked any of the ciphers that we use routinely, they will spend as much effort hiding this fact as they spend on actually cracking the cipher. It happened in World War II. The Allies spent a lot of effort, sacrificed lots of lives. A, an entire city in, in England was sacrificed just to prevent the Germans from suspecting that we cracked their cipher. And the same applies today. Another fact that we may want to know, all of us, our ability and in particular the NSA, to uh, crack the ciphers of our adversaries has been seriously damaged. And we will talk about why, but there are many technological reasons. So these are just a few of the most critical aspects of cryptography that should Put you on the alert, make it more important for you to understand what cryptography is and be in a position to influence your elected officials, to uh, uh, participate in public campaigns and to guide your own actions to protect your own data because it's, this is your ultimate responsibility. And you cannot do this if cryptography is a black box. 
So let's open the box and see what's in it. 